<laughs> You're getting big. You are getting so big. What's happened to you? All this spring grass? Oh, cool. Out here being entertained by those two jokers. And watching for Hart is back behind back there. She's about ready to give birth here pretty soon. What a night out here. Get a new you. It's a little Mary over there. Look at that color. She is so pretty. It's our first little you lamb. She was born last night. Our first you lamb, Mary, over there, the little mottled brown one. Look at Oreo's neck here. Look how big around this thing is. This is Brutus Beefcake. And that's a nickname. That's old Boss Hog there, man. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Boss Hog. Maybe it's a call. He's only JJ about a week old. Boss. Newest addition back there. The one in the back. It's a little you. She's strong. She sounds different than the rest of them. <laughs> sounds real whiny. <laughs> She's strong. She's a good size. She's a little bigger than the twins, of course. Not quite as big as these three brutes over here. Listen to her. That's old Brutus Beefcake there, Oreo. But look at her. She's a cute little thing. She looks super healthy. There's some shed hair. These are hair sheep, so you don't have to shear them. They just shed their original coat. They shed their winter coat. So these two here still haven't shed all the way but they're starting to shed more. The hair on the ground is from that one back there, that dark one. Look at this guy chewing on my pant leg here. He's an ox.
I've heard you don't want to get too friendly with your ram lambs because they make a bad mannered adult ram, but it's pretty tough not to not to pet them when they want it. This guy's an ox, man. We're keeping him. He's a little stud. We plan to halter train him. There's mama. We're gonna halter train him so that we can deal with him a lot easier. I'm sure right now they look so sweet and kind, but once they get big, they can do some damage if they don't have good manners. Our current adult ram, he's a little stud too, but he's got pretty good manners. Check out all the ewes with their lambs over here. They all got their shade, they're all getting along. There's the newest addition on the right. My daughter wants to name her Daisy. And we got the twins right here with the dorper that's standing up. Hart's laying in there with them. She's friendly with everybody. She still has yet to lamb. Whoop. You got this girl. She thinks she's our puppy. That's Joy. Okay, then we got Diamond with her little ewe lamb, Mary. She's so cute. And then on the end, we got Taggy and JJ. They're loving life. This is all part of the ranching deal. It's 324 in the morning. We got a full moon tonight, so of course the coyotes are just going berserk. And I knew that one of my sheep was going to be probably dropping a lamb tonight. So I'm out here with them right now, and I uh, see a tail up. So, yep, for sure she's, looks like she's going to be giving birth here pretty soon. So now that I've come out and checked on them, I can see she's probably half hour, hour away from it. So I'll come back here in a little bit. All right, it's 5.07. The new little lamb is here. Not sure if it's a ram or a ewe yet. Good job there, Hart. Just saw a coyote over there. Came out of the woods and ran from left to right. So there's our look at our new ram, lamb. It's our ewe Hart. She just had him this morning. Gonna be a beautiful day, hot day. We just took delivery of this guy. This is uh, Ricky Bobby Slick Rick. He is part Australian White, part Katahdin. His dad was an F2 Australian White Katahdin, bred to a Katahdin U. So he's going to be added to our breeding program here after his quarantine and we're going to introduce him to one of the sets of sheep. We have the nursery up there and then we have uh, our ram with a couple of ewes. So we got two groups right now so we got to figure out which one we're going to put him with. We're probably going to put him with the ram but we got to make sure they're going to get along. We had him in his own paddock. We were just kind of quarantining him and checking him out and uh, he had the shade mobile and he had water and minerals and grass to eat up there and he seemed like he was doing good and uh, I just came out I was gonna come over and check on all the lambs and check on the new one that we just had this morning and right when I walked up past his uh, paddock he took a step back and took a run at his fence and just charged his fence. And when he hit the fence, he tumbled over forward and just did a flip right over the fence and ran up to these girls. So I said, okay, I guess quarantine is over. <laughs> oh, Ricky Bobby's right, man. So we just introduced Ricky Bobby to our ram and our two ewes that are in their own paddock. And they're figuring it out.
I haven't seen any head budding, so that's good. But he's sure chasing him around and trying to mount him. And then we got our nursery over here. We got everybody with their lambs. We had our last 2023 lamb this morning. Apparently that one's name is going to be Dave. That's a little ram. And that ram was hearts there. So, Ricky Bobby here. He is Australian White and Katahdin. So we are excited to add him to our breeding program here. He's something else. Came out here to have a seat for a minute and check on Jojo. I saw that she was just in labor. And uh, so I'm just out here checking on her. She's got quite the audience going. She's already pushing down there, I can hear her. second day she's already bouncing around she's pretty unique looking she's pretty cute I'll check back in with you guys once we get some more progress here So this one was pretty exciting. I had assumed that this ewe was gonna have twins just because of her size. She was a lot bigger than the rest of them. So we were excited to see what was gonna happen.
And sure enough, she ended up having two. So that was pretty cool. Cool to see two healthy ones. Yep, looks okay. Guys, we got a set of twins here for the You and Me Ranch. It's our first. What a good mama. I hear it. Yep. Good job. <laughs> no gloves, eh? <laughs> Get in there. All right. We got somebody going in for some milk. And do we see anything dangling? I don't see anything dangling. Or maybe. Yeah, there's a little tiny pouch hanging. Oh, that's a boy? Oh, yep. Yep. That was a boy. boy. Okay. So the first one is a ram, and we're not sure on the second one yet. Wow, that's exciting, man. Set of twins for JoJo. Good job, JoJo. Trying to get some milk. This is what it's all about here. 